Unix tools uh, support a standard set of commands for working with files and directories. ls list directory contents. We can um, uh, just uh, specify files and directories uh, as um, arguments and view the listing um, in different ways according to the options. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our current directory. The home directory uh, after login to the system. Uh, it's just a less without arguments. As we remember, uh, after um, authorization, we find ourselves uh, in the home directory. Uh, we we uh, see some directories, but we don't see, for example, uh, shell startup files. No problem. L let's run. We can see uh, the shell startup files and more the directories uh, dot uh, current directory and double dot uh, upper level uh, are also visible because this means all files and directories including hidden fi uh, hidden ones hidden files uh, in unix are just a naming convention uh, names must uh, begin with a dot uh, it is not an attribute uh, as it is on uh, microsoft systems in initially it, it was just uh, a trick in the ls utility to hide the current uh, top uh, directories and uh, then it um, came uh, to be used uh, as a naming convention to hide uh, any file or directory. Uh, also, we can see directory listing recursively. Um, another very important option is uh, the long list. We see the table with information about file uh, directory in the corresponding lines. Um, the, the first column uh, is the file attribute. The first letter um, is the file type. Dash uh, is a regular file. Um, uh, D uh, is a directory, and so on. Uh, then we can see, read, write, and uh, execute permissions for three user groups. Owner, group, and others. Once again, we see uh, the difference between Unix and uh, Microsoft. In the first case, executable is an attribute. In the second case, it's just a naming convention. Com, exec, bat. Uh, the, the second, um, some mystery uh, column, uh, files link counter uh, that we will discuss later in relation to links. Uh, then uh, we can see owner um, and donor group, size of file, um, time but by default, uh, time of modification, and um, the name of file. PWD, print name uh, of current working directory. 
see the change directory with without arguments to to home uh, directory cp copy files and uh, directories most interesting um, option is a archive uh, with um, create um, uh, recursive um, uh, archive copy uh, with preserving of permissions timestamps uh, etc uh, move rename files and directories uh, RM remove files so directories RM dash RF something uh, means uh, recursive delete without asking for confirmation. MKD uh, make directories um, if uh, any parent directory does not exist, you, you will receive an error message. Um, to avoid this, we can use the minus p parent uh, option. No error if um, uh, directory existing, uh, make parent directories uh, as needed. RMDIR, remove empty directories. If directory is not empty, you will receive an error message. Nowadays, uh, running um, RM-RF is sufficient in this case, but in the old days when uh, RM did, did not have a recursive option uh, to clean up uh, non-empty directories, you had to create a shell script uh, with uh, RMs in each subdirectory and to the corresponding uh, RMDs. Alan, link, Ma make uh, links between files. Uh, links are uh, a very specific file type in Unix and we will discuss them in more detail. Uh, uh, if you look um, at the main page uh, for the LN command, uh, we see a command very similar to CP. Uh, but uh, let's take a closer look. Finishing by control D and a file. At the moment, uh, everything uh, looks like a regular copy of the file. But uh, let's try to change something um, in the one of them. Well, uh, all uh, the other linked files have changed too. We are just looking at the same file from different points and changing one of them will change all the others. And in uh, this uh, they all seem to be alike. But um, let's try to delete the original file. Uh, 
in the first case, we, we still uh, see the contents of the original file. But in the second case, uh, we, we see an error message. Just because uh, the first is so-called hard link. And the second one is soft or symbolic link. We can see the difference between the two in the uh, long uh, ls list. And uh, we can restore access to the content for the symbolic link by simply recreating the original file. Another difference between them is the impossibility of creating a hard link between different file systems and the possibility of such linking for soft links. For more details on internal linking, um, uh, uh, see the corresponding uh, under the hood lecture. And uh, finally, let's discuss file permissions. Uh, as we remember, we have uh, uh, read, uh, write and execute permissions for the owner user, owner group and others. And we have the appropriate command to change those permissions. Change mode. We uh, can set or unset uh, these uh, permissions uh, for uh, such uh, groups of, of users by uh, the symbolic uh, modes. Uh, uh, as far as we understand, uh, permissions are just a bit field and in some cases it might be more useful to set them in octal mode. See our uh, under the hood lecture for information on this. You uh, can also change the owner and group for file or directory by command change own. So you must set owner and group owner for file uh, or directory, possibly recursive. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, for security reasons, only a privileged user, super user root, can change the owner of a file. The common owner can change the group of file to any group that owner is member of by this command or by change group comment.